to welcome everyone here today for our vote. I'd like to indicate we've been joined by my colleagues, Council Members Annabelle Palmer, Joe Borelli, and Barry Grudenchik. We're here to vote on Intro 1696A, which I have proposed. The legislation will establish a task force that examines city agencies' usage of automated decision systems, namely algorithms and predictive analytics. This legislation requires the mayor or his designee to convene this task force and for the task force to issue a public report which will include specific recommendations on how city agencies can be transparent and accountable when they deploy automated systems to make or assist in making decision making rules, policies, or actions that impact the public. Increasingly, these tools are deployed throughout city agencies to evaluate communities and individuals and to make determinations about services and penalties. While they can provide immense benefits, algorithmic tools are not without issue. They seem to offer objectivity, but we must be cognizant of the fact that algorithms are simply a way of encoding assumptions, that their design can be biased, and that the very data they process can be flawed. Yet, Despite their importance to government operations and their potential problems, algorithmic tools have remained hidden from the public view. The task force established from this legislation will begin to address these issues. It will examine and report on ways to make information about these systems publicly available and understandable. It will develop mechanisms to determine if automated decision systems disproportionately impact individuals based on protected classes and recommend procedures to address instances in which a person is harmed by such systems. There are a number of potential ways to ensure algorithmic accountability, and to my knowledge, we are the first city and the first legislative body of any size in this country to take this issue on. I'm confident this task force will make recommendations that lead to greater accountability and transparency, and as with so many other things, I'm hoping New York can set an example for cities around the world. Before getting to, getting to the vote, I want to thank committee counsel Malika Jabali, policy analyst Patrick Mulville, and my legislative director Zach Hecht for all their hard work on this. Without them, it would not have been possible. Of course, I want to thank the speaker and her office as well. Now, without further ado, I'd like to call the vote. I call on our committee clerk to do so. I urge all members to vote aye. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on technology, introduction 1696A, Chair Vaca. I vote aye. Palma. Aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Borelli. Aye. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention, item is adopted by the committee. It is approved, and we have one additional member, so I will leave the roll open for 30 minutes. This committee is in recess until that point. Thank you.